So, I found a poem about math, um, kind of about math, and so we're going to go through it and do the read aloud thing. So, first I'm going to read through the whole poem, and when I come back I'll state my summary and inference about each of the uh, categories I broke it up into. Fifty stars and thirteen stripes, wavy patriotic mathematician do the math. Subtraction or addition, what will the numbers be, 37 or 63? Slavery took away my parents' human rights and their children's dignity. I got 59 stripes to show what was done to me. Every year on this earth, I've seen my people mistreated weak wickedly. Promises, promises was the number 40 plus one. 40 acres and a mule. Reparation was a cheap trade-off for my ancestors' suffering and misery. But that promissory note still ain't never been given to me. Subtraction ends with a negative number, obviously. Minus zero is deeper than a six feet hole. It's so cold inside the modern slave quarters, the project pipes are froze. Go bury the bones, now there's less to feed. Politicians playing oppression dominoes. Moving over to the addition side of the patriotic math equation, I got a lot of woe heaped on my poor poverty. More income inequality. More housing discrimination illegality. More police brutality, and much, much more drugs pouring in every ghetto community. Pouring into every ghetto community. Add it all up, this is what I see. Red, white, and blue platitudes is suffocating me. Red is our labor paid with blood. White is our cotton weary purity. Blue is our ocean of perpetual grief. But there's more to the patriotic math problem. Come take a look-see. We got multiplication and division. To intellectually wrestle with morally, stripping away health care and welfare, has multiplied the cries of the poor. Mob rule and his thug buddy, crime does too. Gun violence got bodies piling up at the morgue. Multiply the pain of parents whose kids go milk carton missing. Spread, spreading fear cancer in the affected area. Killing hope. The disease of apathy is multiplying faster than campaign corruption smoke. Do the math, you dope. Depression numbers are climbing astronomically, higher than you can see in a Hubble telescope. Yes, it's division that takes away most of the social gains garnered over the years. Factor in the algorithms of hate, separating forces of social valency, divide the bond of racial harmony, cancel out certain colors in the voting cram box. Do the math and understand. Division is a common denominator pox. And last on the patriotic math problem list is fractions and percentages. That's how the revolutionary colonies tax returns were itemized in the beginning. Three-fifths, 60% human. Slaves were never counted to be worth much. Tax write off humans who were sub. Back to the future with another tax cut. After all this time, they still be doing the same math with a King George touch using Orwellian integers. Strange, arcane math symbols and figures. Do the math. Some stars are more equal than others. Some stripes are brighter than another. Math numbers don't lie. Only Cain people who hate their brother. So, that first section, uh, he mentions the flag and adds and subtracts 13 to and from 50. I'm not sure what he's going for there, but that's what he did. Um, and I inferred that he's not a fan of something in this country, of some things in this country. Next, uh, he's... The descendant of slaves who were whipped and mistreated is the summary. And in the inference, uh, his family hasn't had it easy. Uh, he believes 40 acres of land and a mule were not enough payment for his ancestors' suffering. Is it? I inferred that he feels cheated. Uh, he has not been benefited from his ancestors being slaves. Um, and he feels he has a lot to overcome. Uh, he describes living and working conditions of slaves and uh, inferred that life is tough in the projects and the government doesn't seem to be helping. Uh, he shed light on his disadvantages due to his race and so I inferred poor people who are minorities are discriminated against. Makes sense. And then he's saying uh, how the system is screwing him and I inferred that drugs are making problems in, in these living uh, quarters. Uh, then he breaks down what red, white, and blue mean to him. And uh, I inferred that life isn't good for everyone in this country. Uh, then he talks about how we've basically forgotten about the poor. Um, so I inferred that our healthcare system is messed up. 
And uh, in these poor places, violence is rising, and that's not good. And so I'm afraid he must have come from a pretty dangerous area. And uh, then he mentions how he is, his kind is getting screwed over by the political system. And so I inferred the government is corrupt. Um, then depression is growing like poverty and crime. And so um, I inferred that mental health is a growing issue. He talks about how this country is so divided and its negative effects. And so I inferred that oppression is becoming common and it's, it's not good. Uh, then he mentions how the three-fifths compromise made blacks count as three-fifths of a person after they were set free. Um, so I inferred the three-fifths compromise wasn't fair and it was bad. Um, then he criticizes George Bush's tax cuts, George, the second George Bush. Um, so I inferred he wasn't a fan of George Bush. And finally, uh, he closes by saying how it is fact that minorities don't really have the same rights. And so I inferred that this country has some serious problems. Thanks for listening.